beyond the scorched sands of the central deserts, off the edge of the far west coast. There is an island chain bound by the wild waters of the Indian Ocean. Its haunted history tells the tale of the country's most gruesome shipwreck, where madness, mutiny and cannibalism took the lives of the sailor who entered its treacherous waters. Today, this compelling history, along with the area's unique cultural and ecological splendour, are hardly known on the mainstream tourist trails. However, all that do make the 500 kilometre journey northwest of Perth never forget their time in the Abrolhos Islands. Today the islands are the centre of the western rock lobster fishery, the largest single species fishery in Western Australia. This key natural resource is sustainably managed by the Department of Fisheries who have also created a myriad of reserves and marine parks to protect the area's unique ecosystems. This in turn has increased the number of tourists who visit the area on day trips to explore the stunning islands and dive and snorkel their pristine waters. But it's the convergence of the colder southern waters and the warmer Lewin current that has brought me here. With an abundance of fish species to catch and a plethora of islands to explore, the Abrolhos is a hidden gem in the Australian sport fishing scene. So when you get an offer from Ben Patrick and Tim Carter from the Helco Lua Company to come and join them here in the Abrolhos, it's an offer you simply can't refuse. <laughs> Abrolhos Island is such a special place to me. I've been coming here since I was 12, so it's about 35 years. It's very much part of my family heritage, this place. I feel like I'm starting to come to grips with it. What you have to hope for at the Abrolhos is that the weather gods are on your side, and sometimes they are, and sometimes they aren't. This week's forecast doesn't look too bad. Could be getting a bit gnarly towards the end, but we'll just see what happens. So I've been thinking we'd probably do a bit of deep water jigging and see what we can get out in the deep water. Then. Um, We've got uh, some great trolling up here for the pelagics that come with the warmer water. So we've got Spaniards, maybe a chance to see Yellowtail King, uh, Shark Mackerel, Spotted Mackerel, all sorts of things. Uh, so lots and lots of variety. And then if we get time, the weather permits, we'll have some shallow water jigging as well. With plenty of fishing options to pick from, we've decided to keep ahead of the weather, head to some deeper water and troll the new range of Helco lures. I've just hooked up on the uh, the far corner there. Ben and I have uh, got a nice little spread of Helcos out. We're able to troll around the edge of the reef here and could just about find anything. You know, schools of Spanish mackerel, it could be wahoo, could even be uh, Samson fish and amberjack. You just don't know what you're going to find. I actually just backed off my drag then. I got this fish in quite quickly and uh, I'll do it up a little bit more now. I think what actually happened is I might have a mackerel on and it basically swam in with me. It's quite a large fish, so with a short amount of stretch right next to the boat and a drag done up quite tight, I really run the risk of pulling the hooks out. So I'm in a pretty safe area, so I figured it's not a bad idea just to let that drag back down just a moment. The fish was a bit green. Well done, that's a nice fish, that's isn't it? That's a really nice Abrolhos Spaniard. For hard fighting, great fish. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Mouth like razor blades. Absolutely. I'm just going to take this Laser Pro out now. I'll get rid of this rod. Well, lovely fish, eh? That's a ripper, <laughs> yeah. I reckon that's uh, 
the laser pro is accounted for about as many Spanish mackerel as, uh, as anything has. Yep, and, and they're point. just a fantastic sport fish all around these things. Good eating fish as well. And a day like today, it's windy, you can still find a spot behind some reef somewhere, it's not too rough. Yep. Get into some of those. Yep, all right, Good mate. Fun. Good to eat. All right, I reckon you can get him back. We're okay. going to continue trolling. Put a fair bit of weight on this now. This is a, there's a bit of weight to this. Yeah, okay. So it's the new Max on here. Yeah, righto. So it will be the first fish ever on the Max if we land it. Okay, all right. Well, you've got plenty of drag there, mate. Yeah. You've got the Saltiga 5500, so it's pretty, uh, pretty well equipped. Struggling with this left hand wind. <laughs> I know it's popular in other parts of the world, but <laughs> it ain't popular with me. It is. We've got a little bit of colour down there now, Ben. Yeah. Thinking it's a Spaniard? I think so. It's going to be a pretty I reasonable one, I'd say, too. Yeah, I got a big yellow tail king here the other day, too, but I don't think it's that. It's an amberjack. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you've got that. Nice. Yeah, I've got it. Yep. Very pleased to say that's the uh, first fish ever caught on the Max 190. Probably destined to be one of the uh, the biggest selling offshore lures in the world, I'd say. It's going to be a ripper. And, and look, we're trolling at five knots, had heats of action. We're trolling six knots, heats of action. Yep. That'll also troll with action. We've been trolling up to 20. So. 20 knots. So Which huge is... speed band for it. It's going to make <laughs> yep. lots of great applications. Cool thing about that is I could be using that on bluefin tuna on the east coast. I could literally be running to the grounds and trolling yep. two or three Check of these yep. and searching for fish. So yeah, that's going to be pretty useful both overseas and in Australia. And uh, mate, we were completely wrong. We had it for a Spanish mackerel. There's a yep. few around, but we got an amberjack. A lovely fish yeah, though. That's probably species. the biggest amberjack I've caught up here actually. So. Yeah, righto. All right, Ben, well these uh, single hooks are a real blessing, I reckon, on big lures. I'll just get that out for you. Look at that, beautiful. That makes it easy, doesn't so it? So much yeah. easier. Put some hurt on them too. Trolling the new range of Helcos has been a brilliant way to start our Abrolis adventure. But after the break, we mix it up and try our luck with some lighter Daiwa outfits. 